to blog 22 me learning to play the melodeon uh, today i'm playing and singing for the first time which is a, a, a quite a feat for me i've been working on this song for quite some time now i have actually put a recording of it up uh, with me playing the uh, concertina um, you may have seen that already but this is uh, the song played and sung uh, using the melodeon I'm using my Sauterell Connemara 3 melodeon, which is what they call a 2.5 uh, melodeon. Uh, so this row is D, this row is G, and this row some extra accidentals, and I do use one note in this row uh, in this song. This song is a traditional song from Dorset. It appears in the film Far From The Madding Crowd, uh, which you may remember from the 1960s if you're as old as me. Uh, starring uh, Judy Christie, Terence Stamp, Alan Bates. Brilliant film. Obviously it's the story written by Thomas Hardy who wrote lots of stories based in the county of Dorset and it's a really lovely song. I think it's a traditional song. If I'm wrong then I'm sure someone will be very quick to correct me. But it's certainly uh, a really lovely song and it struck me it's nice to sing and play. The original key of it is A minor I've done it in E minor and I changed the key um, originally so I could play along with my wife who plays it on the recorder. But it struck me it's a fairly comfortable song to sing. It's pretty low. Um, uh, my singing on the performance isn't stunning as I'm sure you've noticed. But in my defence it is quite early in the morning here. But it's the only chance I've got to do this blog today so I've just cracked on and done it. You know, Seized the moment as it were. Um, so lots of road crossing. Uh, if you've seen my videos before, you notice I've been veering towards road crossing rather than playing up and down the roads. Um, some like that style, some don't. Probably traditionalists will say it's better to play up and down the road, lots of inning and outing of the bellows. But for me, I find it more comfortable, less of a strain on my poor side uh, if I cross the roads. If you play this tune using medium reeds, it's a bit squeaky, I'll show you what I mean. Um, it's a bit on the higher side isn't it so um, what I do is I take the medium reeds out and just put the low reed in um, and I think that sounds really nice 
So I think that single low reed sounds great. Um, Now because you're using, uh, or because I'm using a single reed, the bass does tend to get a little bit loud for it. So when I think of it, I try and make the bass a little bit stabbier. In other words, I, I leave plenty of room for the tune to breathe, rather than playing... Um, you know, constant sustain um, uh, left hand. I try and play it like this. I think sounds a bit better. Uh, you may disagree. Your mileage may vary, as some people say. Um, on the end of my performance, you'll see a little edit as I go uh, for the medium reads, put those in as well, and then, and then I get the. get the full power. Um, and there you've got, of course, two medium reads. Tuned apart, nice sort of wet, fat sound, plus that. Um, that low reading as well, and that sounds quite nice. I mentioned earlier that I do use a note on the point five row. It's actually a note I've got normally on, on the G row. It's a C, but so I don't have to change direction. I play the C there, uh, on that button there, button uh, four on the sort of extra row. All, this all sort of ties in with my not having to push the bellows in and out too much. And this is a, a pretty uh, heavy old box. This is the heaviest one I own. I know there are uh, boxes that are a lot heavier than this. Uh, this one goes about um, 11 pounds, which for me is certainly heavy enough. So um, I use that. C on the extra row there. When you play this piece, you definitely need all four fingers of your right hand. Um, and it's quite a weird piece to learn. I found the best way to learn it is just to, to go over it loads and loads of times and then just relax and let my muscle memory take over rather than sort of thinking about where I'm going. If you practice something enough, uh, that definitely happens. And although my performance wasn't perfect, uh, it wasn't sort of too bad, singing was pretty horrible, I know, uh, but um, you know, I'm sure you get the idea. Um, anyway, that is The Grenadier and the Lady, uh, played on the Sauterelle Connemara 3 Melodeon and sung by me, and I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next vlog.